Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Mama Eve, and I want to personally invite you, you, and you to my first annual Spiritual Expo. It will be held in Baltimore, Maryland on October the 29th and the 30th. We have presenters. I have services that's going to be rendered. We have um, vendors. We're going to have a wonderful time. And on the 30th, we are going to have a masquerade ball. And Mama's going to personally award the best dress costume. So plan, put it on your calendar and plan to hang out with Mama for two days. And you won't be sorry. We're going to have a ball. Literally, we're going to have a ball. But we're going to have a ball. <laughs> Okay, so come on out, mark your calendars. If you have any more questions, just call me or hit me up in the comments. All right, well, you just have a good day and enjoy my video. Kisses. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mama Eve, and today's a good day. Today's a great day. Today is a fabulous day. But what's more important, today is your day. Well, you know, Mama just wasn't satisfied with the last video I posted because I like to give you everything that you need. So, this is actually part two of the Rose of Jericho, or the Resurrection Plant. So, just to give you a little bit more information. Actually, there's two different Rose of Jericho. There is one that is called the True Rose of Jericho, and there's one called the False rose of jericho now the true rose of jericho comes from like the northeast parts of africa it is very very hard to get a hold to it the false rose of jericho or resurrection plant basically comes from mexico arizona or desert land so they both have the same identical spiritual properties most people that live in the United States not all but most we get a better access to what is called the false Rose of Jericho so this is the Rose of Jericho. If you did not view my last video, check it out. So I just want to tell you a little bit more. This is a false Rose of Jericho or resurrection plan. Now, people uh, that practice Christianity, Hoodoo, Judaism, and um, a lot of other practices and religion are very familiar with the Rose of Jericho. Even heard a story where a Sunday school teacher brought in a Rose of Jericho around Easter and told the story that when Jesus was crucified, this Rose of Jericho dried up. And three days later, it opened up. And he actually had a Rose of Jericho for his students to see. How wonderful for that teacher. Now, it's very easy to take care of the Rose of Jericho. One of the main problems that 
I hear about is people put too much water in it. And once again, if you put too much water in it, it will mold. Now, I told you yesterday um, that there was a prayer that you can use if you want to. But I didn't recite it on my last video. So, of course, I want to recite it for you now so that you can write it down and you will always have it in case you need it. That prayer, and I'm going to be reading, reading it off of my candle. It says, Divine Rose of Jericho. The blessings of our Lord Jesus Christ we receive. You enclose the virtue and the power that has given you. Help me overcome the difficulties of life. Give me health, strength, happiness, love, and peace. In my home, my luck in business, abilities to work to earn more money to meet my needs and to those of my family divine rose of jericho all this i ask for the virtue you hold in love to christ and his divine mercy amen now you also say well why is this such a blessed plant well if you are a christian or you know anything about christianity there's two books in the bible there is uh the book of kings and if you go in the book of kings you can find uh, a mention of a tumbleweed and it's 19 chapter 19 verses 34 to 36 or book of psalms that's a book that we use all the time as a reference and you can find mention about the tumbleweed or the rose of jericho psalms 83 verses 13 so people have used the rose of jericho for years and I just want to um, show you two ways, two other ways that you can use this Rose of Jericho. So number one, for protection and healing. Protection and healing. If you have a clear quartz, the way that you can use your Rose Jericho, once you um, emerge the root and have it open up. It generally takes between three and four hours depending on the size. Now yesterday I showed two small ones, but today I'm going to show you how a large one looks. So it may take a little bit more time. But once it opens, because see, what I would do is just emerge the root, not the whole plant, in water and watch it open. Once it opens, you have your clear quartz and um, we always cleanse our stones. So what you would do with the clear quartz is actually put it in your rose of Jericho, see, while it's green. And let it sit there right on top. Now remember, what I like to do is on the seventh day, I use this water. So what you would do is actually take it out of the water and let it completely close up, not removing your gemstone. So once it is dried up and you have the gemstone in it, it's going to look like this. You will let this set for about two or three days. And once the two or three days is over, I want you to recite this prayer. And I want you to place it 
back in water and let it open so once it opens you will have your gemstone back now you take this gemstone and you can wear it in a bag you could keep it in your car you could keep it in your bedroom or you can use it any kind of way that you want because now it is blessed if you don't want clear quartz you can use any quartz but or any stone but remember any stone that ends with a l i t e you have to be careful because you're really not supposed to get them wet so that's one way next i make my own rose of jericho oil that i carry here and this is how it looks i merely take some pieces of the, the rose of jericho and emerge it in my special oil this oil can be used on candles in your bath or you can wear it you can wear it so this is another purpose or another way that you can use the rose of jericho you can also use this as an anointing oil thou anointeth my head with oil you can use this as an anointing oil so if you're not feeling well if you just need some blessings if you're fasting if you're praying if you're sending up petitions if you're meditating this is a wonderful oil oh let mama tell you if you have a rose of jericho do not let your cats or dogs get near it because they are poisonous to cats and dogs all right now years ago people also would uh, associate the rose of jericho with mary Miriam and Miriam and Fatima. They they associated with the female womb. The female womb. So, in some practices, even today, if you are trying to uh, get pregnant, or if you want a blessing for your um, new baby or help in your um, childbirth or labor so what you would do is you would take a statue like this which is supposed to be symbolic listen now symbolic of the infant Jesus so this is Nino but it's supposed to be symbolic of the baby Jesus and you would take the statue and you would place the Rose of Jericho near this and you would say your prayers you can recite the same prayer and once it opens during childbirth or during labor the midwives would slide the Rose of Jericho under the bed during the home births. Wow. And it's still practiced in some places today. Also, you see here I have a cross. This cross actually, or any cross, if you want to use an unk, you can. If you want to use a religious metal, you can, but you can place this also right over top of your Rose of Jericho or your resurrection plant, and you will let it stay there for the six days, and on the seventh day, you can wear it, you can place it in your home, you can place it in your car, um, just for blessings. So... I hope that I helped you a little bit with part two of this video about the Rose of Jericho or 
the resurrection plan so i do have these available they're not in a kit but you can get a small one or a large one and or my oil so head on over to etsy if you decide to get a rose of jericho from me i'm going to give you a special blessed rose of jericho oil just for you being supportive i appreciate everything that you do for me and how you watch my videos i sure appreciate you so so it's been a good day it's been a great day it's been a marvelous day but once more reporting today is your day kisses